I got this. Oh, oh, he fell over. Stab girl must have shot him by him. burn down weather trying to cooperate with us but I know a lot of y'all here in Tennessee or like us are a little bit behind on what you need to be doing because of the weather and if it ain't the weather it's waiting on parts but we gonna do what we can do right now we're driving to the back of the farm man Jesse live on we gotta cut through two hay fields Small building, small building, very back up on the hill. We got a slightly smaller field right up on this hill to the right. Then we got to come back and burn down the field that we drug logs through. Hopefully, get that done, and then we'll go fill up again and run over to another farm. It's just a couple miles down the road from, from the house. Then burn it down. Then we'll have to see what time it is and uh, what the weather's doing. We may or may or may not move again. We gotta kinda get uh, things planned out. And I am waiting on some tractor parts to show up. get a call ago and uh, a spare parts that came in. Uh, well, uh, more parts of the spare came in. What I need is a... Uh, so now this thing unfolds the x bolt it's got a cable that runs through that arm out to the out to the wing. And that cable, it's got a couple of uh, plastic rollers to keep the cable touching the metal. Well, they're shot. They've been ordered for a while. They finally, they finally came in. I'm gonna go get them tomorrow. Not worry about them today. We're gonna spray. I'll be the spray. Hope y'all have noticed. I got a my light jacket on and a vest today. It's decided to get cold again, or cool. I even started a fire in the house. It was cool, it was pretty cool inside the house, so I started a fire for all left. I think it's in the, it's in the, in the high 40s right now. And you know, you see on social media people complaining. You see a lot of social media stuff, people complaining about the weather, you know, being hot and cold. It's that time of year, it's, it's what it does here. It'll be hot for a couple days, it'll be cold a couple of days, you know. That's what it is. I didn't notice we got a couple, a good couple of trees to cut up in here next year. A couple of big red oak, there's a big walnut, there's some big white oak in there. Big walnut right there. Still plenty of timber for us to So I don't know if you can see the little ridge right up there. It's a pretty good steep little bank. And that is a hilltop on the back of the farm. And that's the furthest back. This up here is the furthest back, and it's also up on a little ridge. Right now we're in this, this creek bottom down here we're in. We got the ridge up there. We got ridge up past them tree. Well, not that tree, but that tree right up there. So far this year, my old, my old sprayer's still doing a, a decent job. Well, like I was telling y'all before, I am still wanting to upgrade it. So that's two fields down. Get her bolted up. Go through the trees over here. So there's where we did some logging right there. See her fast. Get the down so don't eat these trees. Oop. Well, we run her off in the trees. 
Irish tree with blood. We've got trees all in there. There's a pile of brush. And there's still more trees not to cut. This first go around went there and cut the real big trees. So there's some real big trees up there and there's real big trees down at this other end. That's another building, folks. Considering we didn't get started till late, we are making pretty good progress today. So that leaves us one more field this farm spray. We're gonna fill back up and move down the road then. Got another tree in the field. I'm about to come cut that one up. Like it might be two trees. Well, we got finished up over here. We're going to uh, go jump on the road and run over to the next farm and get going on it. that holds the camera to the stand down down there where my shifters at luckily I got one extra maybe won't mess nothing up so we finished up the field over there we moved up the road to a new place you can see the pile of dirt they're building a house here but they got about up front got maybe five acres and the person contacted me and said hey would you want to farm us I said yeah I can do it I mean, we're just the next next two fields down, maybe 200 yards before we started spraying out over here. We about to get at it again, get everything set up, get figured out how we're gonna play this field out. Go from there. The good news, my shooter still works. We're done with this place. Not a bad little field. We're getting ready to get back on the road. Gotta give it a quick check. I can make sure my top booms are sitting in their cradle. You go over here and look at your track, make sure it's not broke. Looks good, looks good. All the bolts are in there. Doesn't hurt to give the whole full spray walk around before you get on the road. Or the tractor. And I'm ready to run. I'd say by time back home, it'll be uh, about split now, because it is just 
closer to bucket four right now. So by the time we get home, it'll probably be close to five, if not five. But that's not the time I usually quit this time of year. But I gotta go rank on kids because today's the last late day to work. But I mean, I'm married too, you know. Gotta, gotta do that stuff. Hard right. I just swerved real wide to miss a giant snap fire. He's probably the size of a hubcap. Uh, there's a car behind me. They're getting out to help that snap turtle out of the road. Hope they don't mind missing a few fingers. But they'll snap, snap, snap them off. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, he fell over. Snap turtle must have shot a bite him. <laughs> 